So we're going to be talking through the back squat, uh, not the boring basics, but more of the nuanced details. So the first thing you want to ensure is you have the barbell set up between chest and shoulder height uh, to, to make the unwrap as easy and as effortless as possible. And then you want to establish your grip. So for most people, um, it will be an outstretched thumb away from the nerve, so the rough part of the barbell. But generally, a better rule of thumb I like is go as close as you possibly can. Uh, the closer you are, the more tightness you can create, and you become one with the bar, and there isn't a lack of stability there. Bigger guys with lack of shoulder range may have to go slightly wider and potentially use a thumbless grip. Um, but if you're slightly smaller, like a lease, you can probably go closer, thumb round. And then after you've established that, you're going to place the bar on your upper traps. In this position, Elise is going to pull the bar into herself, again to create that stability. And take a deep breath through the nose, trying to inflate the stomach before she unwraps. Then from there, she's going to take three steps up. So three steps, all we're doing is one out, another to match, and then another to readjust if you need to. From here, for most people, we want the feet just outside the hips and the feet slightly externally rotated, but this would depend on your hip structure. So if you know you've got slightly wider hips, you might want to go wider. If you're shorter and have really good ankle range, you might want to go narrower. And then before we descend into it, we want to do the Valsalva maneuver again. And just to clarify what we mean, it's a deep breath through the nose, not the mouth, where we're looking to expand the belly and the lower back. So we should look, be looking to fill this region with as much air as possible. Um, that will create stability and help protect the lower back. One final thing before we descend into it, we want to think about three points of contact with the ground and the feet. So you want an even weight distribution between the big toe little toe and heel to create a tripod so you've got a really good amount of balance there. Once you've taken the valsalva up and got the balance in the foot, simply descend into the squat, trying to get the hips below the knees and then really explosive on the way up. We're athletes so during the concentric portion you really want to pop up. Control down and explode up if you do one more release. Good. Once you're done, just walk forward until you feel it hit the upright and then walk away.